All right, next up is Anthony ne- uh, Neves. Greetings, g- gang. Variety is reporting that Paramount Studios has set a 2020 release date for Coming to America 2. Wow. I love the original film, and Eddie Murphy was definitely in his box office prime. I would love to see him make a comeback. Do you guys think it's too late for a sequel? Thanks, and love the show. Okay, first of all, Anthony, I love Coming to America. And I knew I was going to love this movie right from near the beginning of the film when she says, the royal penis is clean, your highness. It's like, what? What? And then it just goes on from there. And despite the fact that it starts with a joke like that, there is a sweetness and an innocence to the movie oh, as well so with, with Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall. And, you know, and it kind of launched this whole thing of him playing eight different characters and, you know. It was just whether it's Soul Glow or whether it's they got to bring back Sexual Chocolate. Well, I've, the band Sexual Chocolate must back. come back. I this is a treasure of a movie. Coming to America is a treasure of a movie, and I hope somehow, some way, they can get James Earl Jones. I hope they don't say his character's passed away. No, they come uh, on. I hope they get James Earl Jones back because that he was he looked so he looked badass because he just looked huge. Yeah, you know what he he looked like Kingpin. <laughs> he looked like the end when when because when he would walk into set and he'd have the the furs over his shoulder. He just looks like Kingpin from Spider Man and the Spider Verse. He looked awesome, and it's coming out in August, August of 2020. They've talked about this film for years. Is it too late? Fair question. Is it too late? I would almost say this, Rob, and I don't know if you're going to think this is crazy because it might be. There came a point about seven years ago that I think coming to America became too late, that coming to America 2 was too late. But as seven more years have passed, it's almost like we've come back into her. Now we're in this sweet spot of a nostalgia play on something like that. And I'll tell you what, it couldn't come at a better time for one Eddie Murphy because Eddie Murphy, who was the biggest star in Hollywood for a long period of time, his last number of years, have, here's his last, like, since Dreamgirls in 2006. This is, and there were some stinkers before that, but this is just his last six films. Norbit in 2007, Rotten Tomatoes uh, rating of 9% box office, $159 million total. 2008, Meet Dave, Rotten Tomatoes rating of 20%, box office of only $50 million total. In 2009, imagine that. Rotten Tomatoes rating of 41%, box office of only $22 million. Tower Heist, which, by the way, I liked. I like Tower Heist. But Tower Heist, Rotten Tomato rating, uh, rating of 67%, box office $152 million. Then 1,000 words. You're reading that right, folks. A Rotten Tomatoes rating of zero. Not a single critic out of 300 plus liked the film. Box office, most, apparently nobody else did either, $22 million. And then Mr. Church came out in 2016, which I thought looked fantastic. The, the premise of the movie is great. And it's got the, I can't remember the actress's name, but she was in uh, Californication with David Duchovny. She played David Duchovny's uh, wife in it. And then Natasha, she was... Natasha Leone. I, Not is, Natasha Leone, Natasha McElone. Is that, the, then the she Irish was also actress. in... The, yes. And then she was also in Designated Survivor with Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, that she was looked, in Ronin. The oh John my God, Frank, I, I totally movie Ronin. forgot about that. The movie looked really good. It looked like this could be an Oscar thing, and it just was not executed right. Rotten Tomatoes rating 24%, made $685,000 of the box office. Granted, only opened in about 400 theaters, so not a big thing. Eddie Murphy, if there was any performer in Hollywood that could really use a resurgence, it's Eddie Murphy. And if there's any performer in Hollywood that I think would be a real kick to see get a big resurgence, it's Eddie Murphy. I'll just tell you what, straight up, I love the idea of coming to America too. Could it be a disaster? Yes. Dumpster fire? Absolutely. Does he bring back Arsenio Hall? Who knows? Are they getting the original director? Nope. It's uh, Landis isn't coming back to direct. Right. Is it the original screenwriters? No, it's not the original screenwriters either. But it's still coming to America. Might be awful, but I think this is a great idea and probably a good time to take a shot at it. Rob, what do you think? Completely agree. I love coming to America. You know, Eddie Murphy in the 80s was one of, he wasn't just a deft comedic performer. You know, he didn't just come off Delirious and Raw, two of the greatest comedy specials, uh, Saturday Night Live. He was so good in another 48 hours. Yep. And especially, one of my one of my favorite 80s movies is Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, sure. Which is the perfect blend of comedy and And, and I action. thought Beverly Hills Cop 2 was great as well. Yeah, Beverly Hills Cop 2. Oh, Tony's- and everybody hates, everybody hates The Golden Child. 
I love the Golden I, Child. I, 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 I don't want care. the knife. Come on, the Golden Child's so I must good. Be purged. I <laughs> love the Golden. The Child. The Golden Child is, is is Charles Dance, and the Golden <laughs> Child's great. But I I I love the idea of bringing him back. I will. I want to see a, a how there's was the Matthew McConaissance. The yeah, the McConaissance. I want to see a Eddie Murphy sance. I want to see. I want Eddie Murphy to come back. I want him to reestablish himself as box office gold. I love Eddie Murphy. I I'd love to see this movie come out and just knock it out of the park. I will I be really would. very disappointed if it's not really good though. Yeah. I'll be very disappointed. It better be the Creed of Creed. Yes, to that's a movies. great that's a great that's what analogy. I want, to be. I, love I want that. to be like Creed. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. 